a suggestion. Um, I'm going to show everyone how to use the Dolce Gusto machine um, just to prevent confusion of how the thing works, the capsules, the whole cleaning, refilling, everything. So I'll take you from scratch to the end. So first thing is the water tank. As you can see, there's no water inside. It's completely empty. So to fill it up, you've got to remove it. Simply just pull and it comes out. Easy peasy. Pop some water in. I won't fill it all the way, just to show you, but to stop there. That is the max line, so do not fill past there. I filled it halfway just for the demo. Basically, it goes, this part goes in there, so it's bottom first, top clips. So put it down at an angle. Get the bottom in and then you just push it top goes. That's easy. Alright. Power it on. It takes about roughly 10-15 seconds to heat up. You'll see the lights glowing red. Once the light is a steady green, it means it's ready. If after it's heated up it glows red again like this, it means there's a problem with the machine. So either your capsule's blocked up or your water's finished or something's happened. So then you just need to inspect it. So we're waiting for that to go green. Then you can see so we've got a steady green. It is completely ready now. So the next thing is the capsules. As you can see, there's a variety of different capsules to choose from. Um, each flavor has a different way of preparing it. The easiest way, and I will show you, is the top of the box. The top of the box shows you exactly the order of the capsule and also the volume to use for each capsule to get your cup. So a lot of people tend to take a cup and expect it to fill it. The problem is your cup is actually too big. So my recommendation is either get you the right cup, which is this one, this is designed for lattes. You get a cappuccino one too. It's the right size. That's the DeLonghi ones. Oops, yeah, DeLonghi. Um, you can order them on take a lot. Um, they about 170 for two cups, but brilliant thermal insulated, doesn't burn your hand, keeps your coffee warm, and it's exactly the right size. So, the other capsules that you get is plain capsules, such as the Americano. You'll notice it only has one capsule. There's not two, it only does Plain coffee, hence you only insert one capsule. So the top of the box is your key indicator. So in this case, I'm going to make a latte. Um, a latte requires 170 mils of milk first. You can see the white capsule. Brown capsule next is the coffee, 50 mils, and it will give me a cup of latte. This is the indicator here to show you how much water to set it. And I'm going to show you that indicator now. So here you can see this thing is requesting five bars of water. So what we'll do is, <clears throat> we'll take the white capsule first, the milk. Here's the brown one for the coffee. Where we go milk first. Pop it in. And put it in. Press down. Once you press down, it punctures the capsule. You cannot lift up here afterwards. You puncture the capsule, it must go. If you open it now, you have to throw the capsule away. So we adjust our water level to as indicated on the box of five bars, one, two, three, four, five. And you will notice there's a hot and a cold. The cold is for things such as ice coffees, uh, Nesquake, or anything cold that, that you um, put inside. Because you do get ice capsules also, which you can see the whole range at the back of the box there. But in this case, we're doing a latte, so it's going to be warm. It's on five and press start. And there she goes. And yeah. So that will dispense the milk first as we measured with the five. Okay. When it's done, wait until the green light is steady, and then you know it's ready to remove. There we go. You can remove the capsule, lift it up, pull it out, throw it in the dirty tray that's designed to hold capsules. Then next up, 
we move on to the next sequence in the box, the brown capsule, the coffee one. So we pop it in. As it shows, two bars of water. So we set it to two bars and start. Wait till the light's steady, lift up, remove the capsule, we are done, you can turn it off, and then either drink as is, or add sugar to taste, and that's it, thanks.